Okay, so now we're going to start with the shooting portion. But before we start to make buckets or get buckets, we have to understand the actual mechanics that go into shooting. It's a lot. So we're going to cover everything from the bottom of our feet to our release point in our hand. Okay? So there are multiple different portions of having correct shooting form, posture, release. The first thing that we want to make sure of is that we have good balance. We don't want to have our feet too close. We want to have our feet about shoulder length apart. This gives us good balance. Okay? Now, when we're going to shoot, we, make sure, we want to make sure that we don't shoot flat-footed. So when we jump, which is the end part of, of releasing the ball to shooting, we, we want to make sure we leave the ground. Okay? But stance is very important. If you're right-handed, you want your right foot to slightly be in front, or they can be uh, equal. You don't want to have your left foot in front if you're shooting with your right hand because now your left side is slightly in front and it makes you shoot going across your body. We want to make sure also that when we bend, our posture is very important. We have to make sure we bend because we use our legs. So when we bend, we don't have to bend this low, okay? We can slight bend right here and we'll feel how much energy we need when we jump. Okay, you have to bend. So if I stand from the side view, we want to bend right about here. This should be enough. Somewhere in that area, some people, they don't bend as far, but they use their arms a lot more. We want to use our legs and our arms. We want to be efficient shooters. So we want to bend slightly, okay? Next part is we want to have good posture for my chest. How does that, how does that factor? Well, when you go up to shoot, if you go straight and then you go up to shoot, as our arms come up to go up and release the ball, we start to arch our back. Now, by the time we release it, we're leaning this way. So to counteract that, we want to kind of be leaning forward. So now when we go up, by the time we're releasing, we're straight. Posture, stance, foundation. That's how we start. We don't want to lean too far. We don't want to lean backwards, okay? Just about right, slight tilt, and it'll help you when you go up into your jump shooting. Now, we get into going up in the upper part. We want to make sure that our regular hand, which is our shooting hand, if it's our right or our left, we have to make sure the ball placement is important. So you'll hear the terms grip. Where should your hands be? Well, you want to line your hand up around the middle of the basketball. You don't want to have your hand to the side because when you shoot, your hand comes off and your thumb is usually the last part that leaves, uh, that the ball leaves, and it will cause the ball to spin at a wrong angle. When you release the ball, you want the ball to spin just like that where it's going straight up and down, okay? When the ball spins straight like that, you know you have what they call a perfect rotation, okay? Now, as we're getting into going into the spin, we wanna understand our elbow. So in this case, I'm right-handed. We wanna make sure that when we start to go into our hand placement, that we don't have the ball over here because now our elbow has to be out. We want the ball to be more to our right side. Doesn't have to be all the way here. You want it to be comfortable. So some will have, more out, some will have it slightly in, okay? What we want with our elbow is for our elbow to mostly be down. We want it to go into what we call an L position. So an L position means is that my arm is in an L. So it's going here and up. When we go up to shoot, it stays in that L position. Now, it's not a perfect science. And some kids or some shooters don't develop it the same way. You have some that their arms are a little bit slightly out, but as they go into the shooting motion, they bring it back in. That's fine. Traditional shooters, we want you to have your elbows in as 
far as close as possible because it will keep a lot of extra things from happening. You can eliminate those if you just go and work with your arm in, okay? So the, arm, the hand needs to be more in the middle, have the ball placed here, and then we go into our, our opposite hand. This is called our guide hand. This hand, all it does is keeps the ball, keep the ball from moving. Okay, when we go up to shoot, this hand normally is away from our shooting hand. They're not touching. We want it to be certain placement. Some, some have it right to the side. Some have it slightly in front. If it's slightly in front, as you go up to shoot, you must make sure you move it because if not, you're going to push the ball off of your fingertips. It's very important to understand how it's releasing. OK, when you release the ball, we go into our follow through. What is follow through? Follow through is the act of letting the ball leave your fingertips. Like so. Pointing your fingers down and flipping, flicking your wrist. That's the follow through. When you get good follow through is when you snap your wrist like so. What you don't want to do when you're shooting, when you're doing follow through, is you don't want the ball to roll off your fingertips from behind. Because then you don't get the power and the shots fall short. So our follow through is the last part of the release when we shoot the ball. We start from our feet, good foundation. We take the ball here. We get in a nice good stance and then we go up and we shoot. That's the practice that's important to start any type of shooting for any level of basketball player. You have to understand that these things are very, very important. Now, once you start to work on the foundation, the posture, you're, you're bending your knees, you're coming up, jumping off through your toes, your follow through, your hand placement, your elbow in, follow through, flicking the wrist. Once you've worked on these things enough, then we will move on to the next part, which is actually finding out where we're shooting.